Hello there YouTube gamers, today we are taking a look at Turtle Wow, what I feel is one of the most chill, relaxing, and enjoyable Vanilla Plus experiences out there. I want to touch on things for new or returning players, explain how to fix the black screen if you have multi-monitor setup, then look at some of the custom mods you can use for Turtle Wow, including the HD graphics update project, and then look at options for UI and add-ons as well as where to find them and how to easily install. That will all be time stamped if you want to jump ahead as first i want to take a moment and address some big news coming very very soon for turtle wow the roadmap going forward might be getting a lot more exciting turtle wow is a project that has seen a lot of work put into the continuation of the vanilla wow experience new quests gear locations cities and zones additional dungeons and raids new cosmetics transmog player titles mounts class and spec reworks and balances as well as new leveling challenges and professions there's even new ways that you can level up and play what you know as classic wow with the hardcore mode there's a pvp mode there's the slow and steady mode there's just so many options so that will be linked down below now the next patch set for release is patch 1.17.2 which is i believe the sixth major content patch for turtle wow the tower of karazam i urge you guys to check it out and this patch isn't the big tease i wanted to talk about instead it's this and your guess is as good as mine is it an ENB similar to what we find with modding skyrim and fallout maybe it's rxt remix or a worldwide graphic and texture update or or are they going to release turtle wow on their own engine i know the idea of their own engine is probably the least likely of these options but again this is all speculation and we won't know anything at all until they decide to tell us which will be on july 7th all right and now we are on to the mods and the add-ons and things that i think you should install now what you install in the end is really going to depend on what class you want to play and what play style you really like these are just the default base add-ons and mods that i think some of you might be interested in so let's go ahead and take a look and the first thing i want to do is address the issue with the black screen that comes at times when you try to set it to windowed mode if you're using multiple monitors and to fix this issue you're just going to go ahead and you're going to go to wherever you have your turtle wow installed on your computer you're going to go to the WTF folder and you're going to find the config.wtf and to fix this issue you're going to go in here and you're going to go ahead and add this line I'll have this down below as well but you're going to want to put set space gx window space quote one quote and that should take care of any issues when the screen doesn't want to load or goes to a black screen whenever you try to switch over to the windows mode when you're using multiple monitors Next thing that I'm going to suggest you get is Vanilla Tweaks. Vanilla Tweaks is going to add widescreen FOV, sound in the background, increase channel count. It's going to increase the far clip max, increase grass draw distance. It just does a lot of different things. And I'll link you right over here to the forum page so you can go ahead and check that out. And you're just going to head over here to the GitHub. And you're going to go ahead and grab the latest version for whichever operating system you're currently using. And then in the folder where your turtle wow exe file is located, you're going to go ahead and you're going to drop the vanilla tweaks.exe file. Then go down and find the original wow executable file. You're going to click on this. You're going to drag it on top of the wow tweaks. And this is going to give you a new executable file wow underscore tweaked.exe. And going forward, this is the EXE that you're going to use to launch Turtle Wow. And next up, we have just two different add-ons or a couple different add-ons that you may be interested in. These are actually more mods than add-ons, my bad. And one of these is going to be up to your particular taste. Some people like it, some people don't. And that is the Turtle HD project. This is going to upgrade some of the graphics in the game to the Legion variants. Overall, though, you do have an option of what you want to grab. You have patch A, B, and C. Patch A is going to be Legion characters and world models, music, and spell effects. Patch B is environment HD retextures. And then patch C is optional weapon, attack, and sound replacements patch. And then once you have patch A, B, C, or whichever ones you want, you're just going to go ahead and highlight those. You're going to take those and you're going to go over here to your Turtle Wow folder. You're going to go to the data folder. 
and you are going to take all three of these or whichever ones you have again and you're just going to drag and drop those directly into the data folder and then you're going to have them right here and you are all good to go that's all it takes to get the hd project running now in addition to the hd mod i did look around to see if there were any other ones that caught my eye and there's a user by the name of vaidu and she has worked on doing a couple different things she has her own version of hd updates and she's also done some with the water and you can go ahead and check that out i'll go ahead and put the link there for you and she's also added a mod that changes the night sky in Azeroth. Another mod that some may be interested in was the voiceover AI that came out for Classic and Vanilla WoW that is also available for Turtle WoW. So if you go down here, this is a link to the GitHub. You're going to see right here for the 1.12 client. Remember, Turtle WoW is the 1.12 client. We're never going to be downloading mods or add-ons that are for the Classic launch. What we're looking for is the actual vanilla 1.12 server. So as you see right here, private vanilla and turtle wow servers, you want to download the 1.12 add-on and the vanilla sounds. So if you go up here, you're going to see the 1.12 and then you're also gonna have the vanilla sounds and you're gonna wanna download those from GitHub. You don't wanna use the curse launcher. And for the AI voiceover for NPCs and quests, what you're going to do with this one is you're just going to go ahead and go here and you're going to unzip these. And once that's done, go back again to your folder for Turtle Wow. Do note that this top file I have up here, add-ons Turtle Wow, this is just where I've downloaded all my add-ons to. So you're not going to have this in your folder. We're going to head over to interface and add-ons. And this is going to install just like you'll install any add-on in the game. You're going to take both of these and we're going to drag them over to here and we're going to drop them in. Now, the important thing with this is whenever you add any add on, you need to make sure that the AI underscore voiceover and the AI underscore voiceover data underscore vanilla exactly match the TOC files found within. If it's different in any way at all, your add on will not work. And that goes for every add on for Turtle Wow. So with this one here, we got AI underscore voiceover. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to find the TOC file, which is located right here. And we are good to go. And the same with, oh, everything moved. The same with the data underscore vanilla. And right here, we have the TOC file, the exact same name. It's spelled the same. The underscores are the same. Everything is good to go. And for a majority of add-ons that we want to find for Turtle Wow, which is again, the 1.12 client for World of Warcraft, I'm going to suggest three different locations for you to get them. Shagu.org, which you see right here. We also have Legacy WoW. When you go to Legacy WoW, you're going to want to go over here to Classic. And you're going to want to go down here to Vanilla Add-ons 1.12. You're going to want to click on that. And a majority of these mods, add-ons, I'm sorry, are going to work and they're going to be good for the Turtle WoW client. Other location is over at the Turtle Wilds Discord. They have their own channel for add-ons and you can see a bunch of add-ons made by the community. Also, you can find recommendations if you're looking for a specific kind of add-on. Now, onto one of everybody's favorite add-ons and that is the UI add-ons. For Turtle Wild, you have a few options. There's actually, I'll throw like a recommendation out there if you really wanna go old school and classic. There is a Warcraft 3 inspired, very basic UI add-on that you can find. I'll go ahead and put the link for that down below. But today we're going to look at three of them. Two of them are going to be located over at shagu.org. And the first one is PFUI. And it looks a lot like the Elven UI that you would see with retail and throughout the past decade in World of Warcraft. We then have Shagu Tweaks, which is the one that I use and I prefer. And it is just a very vanilla classic looking UI with a lot of options and it adds a lot of quality of life things. If you look here, we can see all the different ones here. And then we have kind of a newcomer to the scene and that is the Turtle Dragonflight. The user here, Chris Vios, has created a kind of Dragonflight inspired UI that does quite a few things. It's been updated since I believe last December when he put it out. Originally, it just did the action bars, mini map, unit frames, cast bars, bags, micro menu, latency bar, but it gives it kind of that Dragonflight look to it. 
So it does add a lot of the quality of life things. And remember, if you choose one UI, you can't really mix and match UIs because they are going to interfere. So you'd really want to look at one of these and see which one you really want to go with. And now on to just the basic add-ons again. What add-ons you want to use is up to you. It depends how you play, what you like to do, what class you're playing. All those are going to factor in. So these are just basic default ones that I think are a good base and structure to get you started and get you into the game. And the first one is located over here on Turtle Wow, and that is Atlas Map. It's an add-on for Turtle Wow that adds maps for the old vanilla and the new Turtle Wow dungeons as well as the world bosses. This again has been updated. You got the download link right here on the Google Drive. And for Atlas Loot, Atlas Loot is an add-on that I've always loved. There is a Lexi Bean Atlas Loot, which has a lot of the things in Turtle Wow added into Atlas Loot. Now, not everything is always there because she does have to wait on the developers of Turtle Wow to get her the information. And then whoever is on her team, they need to get it updated. But for the most part, you're going to find most of the new items, quests and things like that located in the Lexi Bean Atlas Loot. And when you're over at her GitHub page, you'll just go ahead and go over here. You'll click on the code and you'll go ahead and download the zip. And next are your quest add-ons, and because we're playing on Turtle Wow, and because there are new NPCs, quests, factions, zones, and towns, there's a bunch of new quests which need added in. So the first thing you want to do is back over on Shagu Tweaks, we're going to go ahead and locate PF Quest, and go ahead and go down here, download PF Quest, and then also on the front page here, you're going to come down here and find the PF Quest dash turtle which is the add-on which supports the turtle wild new content quests and things like that and then for your inventory management bagnon is definitely the way that i would recommend going you have again your classic legacy version again remember if you're on legacy wow make sure you are under vanilla add-ons and you are not under classic add-ons but there is also another version which you may like a little bit better and that is done by a gentleman named mick pew pew mick pew pew bagnon is bagnon which is going to display all your inventory in a single frame but it's also going to include Banknon, which displays the same thing for your banks. And then Banknon Forever, which allows you to see your bank as well as other characters on your accounts bank. Kind of like you see with Retail Now when you use it. And as we round out and get down into the last two add-ons, I'm going to go ahead and recommend Cartographer. I like Cartographer because it allows you to manipulate the map. When you open the map up in-game, it allows you to change the size. You can move the map around. And last but not least is your auction add-ons. There is Auctioneer. I'm going to link you guys directly to the Turtle Wow forums. This is a working version that for the most part works with the 1.12 client as well as Turtle Wow. I prefer to use what's called AUX which you'll see here in the second section of this post. And AUX is very ugly, but it's very good for what I wanted to do. And you can see right down here, he, he puts it together just perfectly, all right? And that's that AUX seems completely focused on individual item prices and buyout prices only. It's really great if you're trying to look at the market, you're selling a lot of things, or you're trying to focus on what you want to sell. If that's what you need out of an auction add-on, then I definitely recommend the AUX. If you just want some kind of sorter that looks pretty, same interface that's inside the game already, then you would go with the auctioneer. But again, I recommend AUX. And when you're in game, you can turn that off and go to the actual screen. So if you're just searching around and you're looking through the auction house and looking for things to buy, I would go ahead and click off of AUX and just use the auction house that's present in the game. But if you want to look at prices and you're looking to start moving product and you just want to get a feel for what's on the market and where everything's at, then you would go over to the extremely ugly AUX interface and you would go ahead and use that and it's going to give you a list of things and it's going to it's going to make things really easy. It's going to give you a bunch of numbers, everything that us nerdy auction gold selling people want to know. So and then after finding, downloading and installing your add ons, the last thing you want to do is at the character selection screen, go to the bottom left, click on that add ons button. It's going to bring up your add on list. Make sure that the script memory up here is set to zero and then you'll just go through make sure that you check all the add-ons that you want to have if you decide you don't want something you can go ahead and click it off don't have to delete it and it'll stay right there and should be good to go 
hopefully this gets you guys all started hopefully i'll see you guys out in azeroth in turtle wild sometime soon so until then everybody stay safe and i'll see you guys again in the next video